Good morning and welcome to this week's episode of the Midweek Mini. I'm your host, Andrea, and boy do I have a story for y'all today. Does the name Omama Nelson mean anything to you? Well, if you've never heard it, you're going to know all about what she did by the end of this episode. Stick with us. Now, I do just want to say that um, this is a re-record because I got up this morning and I checked the audio file and it was just, you couldn't hear me talking at all. So, we're re-recording and I just wanted to say that from the get-go. Um, so, yeah. Well, like I said, this morning we're talking about a lady by the name of Omama Nelson. Um I don't believe she's a household name. At least I had never heard of her until like, you know, not, not too long ago. But anyway, um, so who was she? Now, I do want to say this too. The details of what she did is pretty graphic. Um, so I just, I'm just going to tell you, if you've got kids in the car or in the room with you, you might want to like pause this and wait until later to listen to it um but i'm gonna try to keep it as pg as possible okay so who was omama nelson well she was born omama ari in 1968 in egypt and she was raised there as well while in egypt she was a model and a nanny she immigrated to the united states in 1986 and five years later after moving to america Omama met her future husband. Now, his name was Bill, and he was, like, just over 30 years older than her. Within a few days of meeting, the couple was married. They married in October of 1991, and it didn't take long for things to rapidly deteriorate in their relationship. On Thanksgiving Day that year, Omama claimed that Bill had raped her in their apartment in Costa Mesa, California. So in retaliation, Omama stabbed him with a pair of scissors and then beat him to death with a clothes iron. After she realized she had killed her husband, she began dismembering his body. I'm not sure if she did it like as further revenge or to hide the evidence or maybe it was a little bit of both um but yeah that's that's what she did next so she removed the skin from his torso and she deep fried his head and hands to remove his fingerprints after that she mixed his body parts with turkey leftovers from their thanksgiving dinner when she was questioned or when the neighbors sorry when the neighbors were questioned later They said that they heard the trash disposal running for hours after the time that it was, like, supposed that Bill had been murdered. Now, at some point during all of this, she castrated her husband, too. She was arrested on suspicion suspicion of murder on December 2nd, 1991, but her trial didn't start until December 1st, 1992. While on the stand, a psychiatrist that had met with Omama said that she had admitted to putting on red shoes, a red hat, and red lipstick before chopping up and cooking her husband's remains. And y'all, she even barbecued his ribs. And she told the psychiatrist that it tastes so sweet. Now, she did not ever say in that and ever eaten any part of her husband's body and claimed that she is not a monster. In January 1993, she was found guilty of second-degree murder and sentenced to 28 years to life. 
Since then, she's came up for parole twice, with both of them being denied. The first time was in 2006. The parole commissioners at that time told her or, or said that she was too unpredictable to be released. And she was a serious threat to public safety, and I'd have to agree with that. The second time was in 2011, and that time she was denied because the parole board said that she hadn't taken responsibility of her actions and she wouldn't be a productive member of society if she were released. And she won't be eligible again for parole until 2026, which is like five years from now. Now, while she's been in prison, she got married again to a man in his 70s. So I take it she likes the older men anyway now he's passed away since then but at one of her parole hearings she claimed that he she was a different person than when she killed her first husband citing that when she and her most recent husband had had conjugal visits there were knives in the kitchen and he never felt threatened or endangered in any way now like i said she's not up for parole again until 2026 but she says that if she's ever granted parole she wants to move back to Egypt and live with her mom. Now, I wasn't there that day. I was having a normal Thanksgiving dinner, or as normal as it gets in this house, anyway, with my family. So, I don't know what happened. But that doesn't keep me from forming my own opinions and ideas. I do feel that Bill probably raped her, and it wasn't the first time. So, in an effort... To defend herself, I believe she probably snapped across that fine line of defense, of or self-defense, to overkill. And by the time she was cutting and cooking his body, she had totally went off the deep end. Now, she's been real, called a real-life Hannibal Lecter. Um, now, do I condone what she did? No, not at all. I'm not saying that she should be excused for her actions. Um... I'm not saying that at all. Um, I think that she took the self-defense thing way too far. And like I said, snap. Um, it's like once she got started, she couldn't stop, I guess you could say. Now, do I think she should be paroled? I don't personally know this woman. Um, but I do know just from what I've read about her. She doesn't seem like someone that should be out in society. It's not just about paying your debts for your crimes. It's keeping the public safe from people like, you know, her. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like maybe she should be kept away from society indefinitely. But, y'all, that's all I've got. Um for today don't forget to come back on saturday morning for an all-new weekend weird files and it's a pretty interesting episode i just recorded it last night um also if you watch aew wrestling look for me and alex tonight we're um we're gonna be in the cheap seats but we do have tickets for their their live event in charlotte of uh, charlotte north carolina Oh, and there's another thing that I want to mention to y'all. So, I've been, I, you know, I throw out that we have the Facebook page and we have Twitter. Well, we have TikTok, too. And I don't know why I never mentioned it. Um, and I've had that TikTok page probably longer than, I know for a fact it's older than the, the Twitter page. But um, it may even be older than facebook but i'm not sure about that or my facebook that the page is facebook um but anyway so i'm gonna cut it off here because i literally cannot talk this morning without like sounding like an idiot but anyway so um if you do want to find us on on tiktok you can find us at 3m podcast y'all have a good rest of your day and have a good weekend